for Ben is, is the offense is, is trying to work through and, and kind of figure out how to, to get off to, to better starts in these games. Where does your position group kind of fall into that? What, what, do, what do the tight ends need to do better to kind of help, help that get going? Well, we all play a part. Um, it, it's every position, and I think uh, the tight end position takes a lot of pride in being on top of, uh, of their assignments, being on top of their execution. And uh, I, I feel like after last week, we might have taken a step back there. And that was a challenge, not just for, for the tight end position, but for the whole offense. Each, each group needs to look at themselves and uh, ask themselves, are they doing enough? And those guys in my room have, have taken that to heart. And I'm, I'm very pleased with how they've come in today and, and attacked and, and looking to uh, get back on the, on the right track. You, you would say it's every position. But imagine there's always these one week blips maybe throughout the, the season when things don't go as well. Um, is there ever any sign that that's coming, or you know, is, is there, I don't know, something in the practice week where you can see that maybe this week's not going to go well for your position group, or is it just random and you don't have a lot of control of it? Yeah, you know, it's funny because not to put words in Coach Lynn's mouth, but he was actually bringing it up to the players this morning, just how the first two days of last week we felt really good about practice and and our preparation, our process, and then. Friday, we might have had a couple mm, hiccups there just in terms of the practice. And, you know, was that enough to give us a warning that, that we would start the game like we did? I, I don't think so. But uh, there's just something for us to be conscious of going forward, just how, you know, the margin of error is small. And we, you know, every position group, we, we just got to be on top of our game every day of the week so that it carries over to Sunday. What is the uh, balance, I guess, you know, with? Obviously, TJ is getting a whole lot of attention from, from opposing defenses, right? Especially after those first two weeks. But what is the balance that a good player, an elite player, is still able to create plays on his own when he gets that sort of you know, coverage? I mean, I, I don't know. You know, should TJ be able to do more? I guess when, when he's got when he's facing double teams. Yeah, and, and you know, we alluded to this a few weeks ago too. It, it, that takes everybody. You know, that takes us uh, game planning, making sure that we're putting them in the right spots. And I thought. Last week, we did a little bit more in that regard to, to get him more targets. And shoot, I think he ended up with double digit targets, and, and uh, you know, which, which was good because that allowed him to be more involved. We, we want him to be involved in the passing game for sure, especially with, with the way he's been blocking in the run game. Um, he deserves that. But we, we are pushing the envelope creativity wise to put him in different spots. And, uh, you know, it's just a matter of making sure we're all on the same page when we do that. Cause when we put him in different spots, it's, it's things that he hasn't necessarily practiced or spent much time on. So just making sure that we're getting getting the right reps and everyone feels good about what he's doing. Backfield last week on that, that pass. Was that, I don't know, did he run the right route? Was there some, uh, you know, that the incompletion there? There was. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably defer that to last week. You know, I, I he, he, he battled his tail off last week and, and we came up short at the end of the day. So it's uh, what we're going to be focusing on the Rams right now. What is, what is TJ's, I guess, mindset right now? I, I don't want to maybe read too much into things, but maybe there's a couple times in that game where his, his body language showed more frustration than I think we're used to seeing from him. How is he just dealing with the, the situation at hand with the 0-6? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think we're all a little frustrated, and uh, we're all handling it a little bit differently. I do think he is being a professional. I do think he is um, handling it as he should, you know, it's okay to, to feel a certain type of way because we're not where we should be as an offense. We're not where we should be in the, in the win column either. And so uh, there's a right way to do that too and express yourself. And I think he's been fine with, with that. Um, with that being said, he, he did not play his best game last week. I think he'll be the first one to tell you that. And he knows that for us to get back on the track that we want to go to, that uh, he needs to play better. And, and I, think, I think he will. Thanks, guys. Thank you.